I just spilled some coffee, so we're gonna try to cover that up. Get ready with me using only products that I got from a Chinese Lucky Scoop over TikTok Live. So for those of you who aren't in my live, I have a new addiction that I am spending way too much money on. It's one of those things where it's just a little bit of money to buy this one, but then, oh, that one looks cool, and then you buy that one too, and then you buy it like a lot over and over again. Anyway, so there's these people who go live on TikTok and they sell Lucky Scoops. So what it is is they have an inflatable pool and they fill it with like either ball pit balls or little, uh, what they call bubbles, which are little styrofoam spheres and they have a whole bunch of makeup products that they stick inside this pool some of them most of them are makeup products some of them still sell stationery um there's other things other people sell but um i've been addicted to the makeup product ones i've received two of the boxes they, they take three to four weeks to arrive and i've had a bit of a chance to go through them but i haven't actually like put them on my face for a makeup look yet so i'm gonna do that right now it's not sketchy like they're not just like send me a PayPal or Venmo or whatever. And like, you just gotta trust that they'll send it to you. They all actually do have websites like Shopify type websites that you go on and you order. And then, um, yeah, you watch them do your scoop live. And most of them, like if, like I told one that like, I'm really cool tone, so I don't want any orange or yellow makeup. And so if there was any of that in the scoop, they tossed them back and gave me something else. So it's really nice. Honestly, they've all been really nice and really accommodating. So I have one package here that I actually bought some skincare from. And if you bought skincare from them, they also gave you a lucky scoop. Um, I don't know what this is. Like all the instructions are in Mandarin. I told them to give me skincare for dry skin, so I'm assuming this is like a serum. I haven't used it yet, but uh, the makeup that I got in the Lucky Scoop looks cute. <laughs> the reason I got addicted to this in the first place is because the packaging. The packaging is so cute. So we're gonna see if the quality is there as well. Um, this is the other scoop that I got from a different company. So two different TikTok Lucky Scoops. I have put on my usual skincare. I'm not wearing primer because apparently I don't have any. I ran out of my uh, Senegens primer and I thought I had more somewhere, but I don't. And I didn't actually win any primer in any of my Lucky Scoops, so we're doing this without primer. I got this brush set in one of my Lucky Scoops and it's cute, it rolls up and ties and I like it because it's purple and the brushes are even purple too. Uh, not the best quality, but I mean, I'll still use them. I'm gonna start with this concealer. It's gonna be way too dark for me. Uh, the brand is Mafic. Uh, everything else is in Mandarin and I can't read it. Eh, it could be worse. Let's go under one of my eyes. I have this beauty blender in one of my lucky scoops, so I'm just going to wet it. Always wet your beauty blender, otherwise it's just gonna suck up all your product. It actually matches better than I thought it would. Um, when I'm covering up blemishes, I don't blend. There is a bit of a difference. I'll maybe put some more on. Oh, a fly just landed in my coffee. Seriously. I feel bad for you, but I don't know if it's because you're drowning or if it's because you're so stupid. Ugh, I gotta save him now. Not gonna believe me. I, I saved him and then he just flew right back in again. Okay, I was humane enough to take him out of my coffee and then kill him because uh, that was a more quick and painless death and, death. and now I have his carcass laying around and it has kept all the other flies away. So I got this and it is so cute and I really want to try it. It's got like a, a pressed powder and a highlight and that highlight looks really nice. It's got like pinks and yellows and like an off-white all together. I think that's gonna look really pretty actually. Okay, I should put on an actual foundation though before I put the powder on. So we're just gonna hold off on that for a moment. I got one that was labeled as foundation, but it, I tried it last night and it's quite sheer. Yeah, this one. Matte Refine with Rice Oil Effect Oil Free Foundation. <sighs> The translation from like Chinese or Mandarin into English to market it to English speaking countries is funny sometimes. So we're just gonna like put it on like a lotion. 
it's not as yellow as I was expecting it to be. Sometimes, this hasn't happened to me with a makeup one, um, but I did a different Lucky Scoop and I didn't realize that there was a bunch of people in line in front of me and I ended up like waiting for like two hours for my turn. Obviously, like I ended up asking them, hey, how many people are in line? How much time do I have? And then I like shut my phone off for a bit. But the makeup ones, they don't seem too busy because there's quite a few. And they're just people that are like getting these products in bulk, probably off of like Alibaba or um, some of them claim to be straight from a factory. And I've asked um, all of them actually if they're vegan and cruelty free and they've all said, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I haven't went and like tried to, you know, like into it and see if they're telling the truth or not. I like to think that people tell the truth. So this is not a color match for me. It's way too peachy. It looks orange. It says it's oil free, but it's, it's quite sheer. Oh, it's like, oh, this is bad. Oh, that is going in the garbage. Ooh. Keep in mind, I was not wearing any primer, so it's not like it's reacting badly with a primer. Look at my nose. <laughs> it is patchy, and it's just like sitting on top of my skin. I need to get this off my face. Ew, ew, ew. Did I get it all? So, let's try this. Because that other foundation was a complete fail. This one feels creamier. Keep in mind, I like wiped off all that concealer that I had put on. This stuff smells like, you know, when you were a kid, I was like a little kid in the 90s. And if I would like go into like open my mom's makeup drawer, that's what it smells like. It smells like 90s makeup. Like that. How would you describe that smell? Like very artificially scented. This isn't bad. I don't mind this. It feels okay. It doesn't feel like I have lip gloss all over my face like I was afraid of. I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend this all in, but this pressed powder that comes with it is actually more of like a match for my skin tone. It's more cool. So I have, I'm optimistic about this. Use the other side of my beauty blender because I do not want any of that other stuff on my face. There is another fly about to jump into my coffee mug. Don't you fucking dare. Not like I'm gonna drink it anymore anyway, but. I'm gonna go back to this Mafic concealer and put it down here and here. I took my nose ring out because it had a bunch of that other foundation caked all over it and was all icky. I really don't mind it. It doesn't feel heavy. It's not just, you know, sitting on top of my skin. I don't feel like if I do this, I'm wiping it away or anything. Like there's none on my hand. And I do worry that like later in the day, it's gonna get shiny as like, oil and sweat happen um but for now i, I kind of like it let's put some of the powder on top it's such a small surface it's kind of hard to get it onto my brush so i was having trouble getting onto my brush so i started using this thing and it's it's hard to get on this thing too like it is a very pressed powder i'm really having to uh, push to get any on. I like scratch the surface a bit to get some loosened. Let's see if that works. There, that's better. I am very new to like all of these products, so if I'm not using it the right way, feel free to tell me. Just scratch again. Ooh, look at how handy this end of this brush is for scratching it. Is this something people normally have to do for makeup? I'm always using loose powder. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna call this like foundation um, and 
pressed powder a win for now the pressed powder was very tightly pressed so i had to scratch it in order to get it off is that something normal people do normally if you're using pressed powder i don't know i'm not sure if i've ever used a pressed powder in my life but i feel like it looks like skin like my skin but better kind of thing this one's the same brand as that foundation and this is what sold me this is what was like i was kind of hemming and hawing about getting a lucky scoop from this tiktok account but when they showed this and i got this for free like a lot of them have promotions like if you order now you'll get this for free this i got for free and look what it is i i already pulled these ones out and took them to work but it's this was like a really light pink color and so it's a lip gloss and lipstick duo so you know what we're gonna do is we're going to line my lips first because i put a bunch of products on my hand last night and i've since washed them all off and this one says it's an eyeliner but i actually think it's a lip liner because it's red and this morning, like after I slept and had washed my hands a few times, it was the only thing that was actually left on my hands. So I think it's pretty long lasting. So let's put it on. That fly just went into my coffee. I'm not helping you. So this is like a marker. I am not good at lip liner. I used lip sense exclusively for years and never felt the need for lip liner this is hard it's not even is that how you do lip liner? I don't know the brand is Swaki it says eyeliner but I think it's lip liner I want to use it as lip liner so this one might match the most. Oh, this says matte lip gloss. And this says lipstick. Am I supposed to put this on first? Maybe I'm supposed to put this on first. It's a nice color. This lip liner does not match. <laughs> Oh, my lips are dry. Oh. Looks very different than what I thought it would. Maybe I will use this. Which lip gloss should I use? I'm gonna use this one. Matte lip gloss. It's quite pigmented. Like I'm glad I put the lip liner on because I think it'll keep it defined and keep from like color leaching outward, but it wasn't the best match color match. I like the color. It is matte, like it said. I feel like this gloss like I, you could just use the gloss on its own. I don't know if the uh, lipstick portion is all that necessary. And the lipstick was pretty sheer. Like, it's pretty sheer. This isn't the color I put on, I just wanted to show you guys. So that's what the lipstick looks like. And this is what the lip gloss looks like. Like, I would think this would be the lipstick and this would be the gloss, right? I don't know. Give it a minute to dry. It feels really light, it feels good. Should we test transfer proofness? Let's test. Let's just test it on my hand first. I was not expecting that. There's nothing on there. It feels fine. Like I, I honestly don't feel anything on my lips. If anything, it feels a little bit dry. But honestly, not not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna kiss myself harder. Okay, a little bit came off, but just around the edges. I think that's because maybe the edges haven't really fully dried yet. Anyway, I like them.
Well, I didn't get any eyeshadow in the one Lucky Scoop, and in the other Lucky Scoop, I got two small palettes. This one gives me like definite early 90s vibes. Like, look at it. This was in your mom's makeup drawer in the early 90s. So I was expecting it to be like three, maybe four browns in there, but it's got a whole lot, like a little bit of a lot of colors. Um, I don't know which one to use. Try a couple colors from this one last night and it was quite sheer. So maybe let's try this one. I haven't tried this one yet. Same brand as the lip stuff I'm wearing and the foundation. I just realized I think everything I'm wearing is from the same brand. So I'm going to start with this one as a base. The other little palette was a different brand. Bayo, Bayo Lishi Express Collection. Color is really cute, just really sheer. Oh, I lied. I did get a little eyeshadow in the the other. And look, it's a cute little puzzle piece. Aww. Is it just me or does that look fluorescent orange? does not look the same on my face as it looks on the palette. <sighs> I'm getting like chunks of powder falling down my face. Is my lighting making it look more orange than it actually is? No, it is bright fluorescent orange. Okay, I'm not really liking how this is going, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep going. So I'm going back in with that brush that I used to paint the foundation onto my face and I'm just kind of carving out the edges. Way too orange for my liking, but I'm not changing it now. I have two options for eyeliners. This one's a brush, but I thought it went on a bit nicer than the other one, so we are going to use it. I'm not gonna make too dramatic of a wing. I have downturned eyes, so I don't go right to the end of my eyes when I start my wing. I go like almost like a couple millimeters from the end of my eye and then paint it up towards pointing at the end of my eyebrow. Fly made me twitch and I smudged it. I don't have any makeup remover down here. Let's try to take it off with lip gloss. Using lip gloss and a teeny tiny brush to try to take off eyeliner where it's smudged. It worked. It well, actually. Now I just need to fix it up again. Nothing gets done quickly in my house ever. I am liking this eyeliner. It's quite easy to apply. I can't feel it once it's on my face. So, I have, I got two mascaras, a black one and a brown one. I'm gonna put black on top, brown on my bottom lashes. Oh, and I just realized that this is the same brand as Bayolishi as this palette that had like a whole bunch of teeny tiny little colors in it. I think the password to get into this palette is 90s vibes. 90s vibes, it worked. Oop. This one, same brand. Eyeliner, I like it. Clear Professional Smooth Eyeliner Lotion. I think that's supposed to say liquid eyeliner curl my lashes. This is my eyelash curler. I did not get it in a Lucky Scoop. I have seen them in other Lucky Scoops. Actually, I'm pretty sure I got at least one in a different Lucky Scoop that I did but haven't received yet. There's quite a few of those. Okay, so this one's black. I'll put it on. Look, how, look at this wand. It is so teeny tiny. Okay, I thought I was gonna hate this wand and it doesn't hold enough, it doesn't hold very much product, so I am gonna have to like reload a few times. But it is quite easy to use and it gets right in there. It helps to like get all the hairs like in the ends and in the corner. I don't mind it. I'm very sorry, my phone died. Okay, well I had my phone turned off, 
charging. I went in with the same like thing that I used for foundation and I cleaned up the corners of my lips and my eyes just to make them look snatched. That word sounded icky coming out of my mouth, but just clean, cleaned it up. And now it is time for the part that I am most excited about. So I got a couple blushes. I got this one, which is a cute color, beautiful and in a good mood, it says. I think that's probably a translation error. Also, I realized that I never, the only brow product that I got was like a really dark, dark brown, almost black um, eyebrow pencil, which I'm not going to use because it's not gonna look good on me. So I just took my, um, this brush kit that I got, I took this and just kind of brushed my brows. So this is a really nice color, but I'm not gonna use it right now because I have been dying to use this blush. Look how cute it is. It says lovely. Uh, the brand is Mafic, and there is a piece of cheese on this side and you know why. Say cheese, the blush looks like a piece of cheese and it's got a little mirror on top. I'm not super thrilled about the color, but this packaging has won me over big time. Okay, so fluffy blush brush. We're gonna tap the cheese. Man, these are very hard. I'm having trouble getting much on my brush. It's a light pink and I have light pink skin. I'm gonna have to scratch it, I think. There we go. Is this normal? Do people need to scratch their pressed powders a lot? Is there a secret to it that I just don't know about? Okay. It's cute. Not super dark. Very light pink. You can see the difference, hey? I prefer loose powders because they're just easier to get on your brush but I am so pumped about this packaging. It is so cute. Okay, and I already did the contour. I could probably put a bit more on, but I'm honestly not worried about it. I'm just gonna... Okay. So like with loose powders, I just feel like I put my brush in, put it on, and I'm done. With these pressed powders, it's just a bit more... Uh, time consuming. Maybe I'm bringing it up. Okay, blush done. Now I can finally use this highlight that I have been so excited to try. Oh yeah, another thing that I did when my phone was charging was I took this and I tapped it in this pressed powder and I put it under this eye only, not this eye. Don't see a huge difference. Do you? I don't know. Okay, so this is a highlight, and I just think it looks so pretty in here that I'm fairly certain it's gonna look pretty on. God, I'm gonna have to scratch it again. can't see it very well. Scratchy, scratchy. I can see it a little bit. I'm used to like, I'm used to, I use very heavy pigmented stuff. So I just feel like I'm having to use a lot of product. Okay, I'm starting to see it now compared to that side, which doesn't have any. I do like it. I really like the, I feel like even though there's like some yellowish bits in it, I think there's more pink bits than there is yellow. And yeah, I like that. Let's do the other side. I approve. I think this is the only product I have of this brand, Xi Yuan. Let 
What do you think? Let's turn this light off. Does that look better or worse? I'm already starting to feel like I'm getting a bit shiny on my forehead. So actually what I should do is take this pressed powder. I use this for blush. This is for highlight. Let me use this. It's gonna have to scratch it. Mm. Doesn't fight shine as much as my usual pressed powder. But it's doing something. Put some on my chin too. That's another spot that I get kind of shiny. Okay, and the last thing I want to do, um, I've been using exclusively lip sense for a few years now, and I saw this, and it wouldn't have worked with lip sense, but I think it'll work with this. Oh, actually, let's see if it, how transfer proof this is being. Not bad, a little bit around the edges still, but not bad. Let's turn this light on again. So I read that if you put a lighter color in the middle, some people will even use their foundation. So this is just another color out of this. It'll make your lips look plumper and I tried this with the lip sense a few times but it's really hard to like blend lip sense colors on your lips oh I like that you see it I think we're done so this is the final look. So do you guys believe me now when I say that if anything has the tiniest little bit of orange in it, it pulls bright orange or bright yellow on me? Like this color in the middle is the middle color on my eyes. And it is she bright. I am a fan of most of these products I tried today, to be honest. If you would like to know the two brands of Lucky Scoops that I bought, uh, shoot me a message and I will tell you at the moment, I don't have it figured out because uh, a brand's TikTok name is different than the brand name that comes on your invoice. So I'm gonna have to figure it out, um, but I will figure it out. And this is, is how much I spent on the Soli Makeup Lucky Scoop. And this is how much I spent on the skincare that also came with a Lucky Scoop. And honestly, most of the products are all right. Some of them are going in the garbage, but considering I've got so many,